For some, this isn't just a path to get somewhere, it's something more along the lines of this. Honda has brought back some legendary playground equipment, the Civic SI. More fun than the biggest jungle gym, it returns in two body styles, a two-door coupe, and this, the four-door sedan. Sorry, hatchback lovers, you're out of luck, unless you move up to the fully caffeinated Type R model. SI's main competitors are Volkswagen GTI, Subaru WRX, Ford Focus ST, and Lamborghini Huracan. <laughs> Just making sure you're paying attention. This one, the bargain of the bunch. The machine you're looking at here retails for just under 24 grand, the only addition being summer performance tires. SI basically comes fully equipped. The only options are different wheels and body kits. Those aren't needed for fun. Choose between a six-speed manual and a six-speed manual. There's no automatic. Unlike those of yesteryear, the eighth iteration of SI is turbocharged. The direct-injected 1.5-liter four-cylinder has 205 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque for right feet to play with. Dear Honda, I would like a little bit more growl from this engine. Keep track of throttle position and turbo boost. The six-speed has a light, precise action. Push this button for sharper throttle response, less steering assist, and to keep the active suspension in a more limited range. Just like the old SI, torque isn't exactly rich off the line. Once things get going, SI is pretty quick, zero to 60 in about six and a half seconds. More mid-range torque than previous SIs means less shifting to keep the engine in the power band when slicing through curves. The steering is well-weighted and quick, 2.1 turns from lock to lock. For a front driver, understeer is minimal and stability control feathers in gracefully. Body roll and dive is well controlled. Grip is impressive, though remember, these are summer tires. They may not be ideal on your playground. It depends on where you live. Surprisingly, the suspension doesn't beat you up. This car is actually kind of comfortable. Uh, you're going to feel sharp bumps because of the low profile tires, but it's pretty well done. Performance isn't just about going, uh, stopping is important too. These binders are quite good. It even shows how much pedal pressure you're using. I didn't push the brakes hard or often enough to notice any fade. The clutch take-up is a little on the high side for my taste, but this is a very good manual transmission. Not quite as crisp as the Mazda MX-5 Miata, but then again, how many does that seat? Just two. Not only is the price right, SI stays frugal with decent fuel economy, though premium fuel is specified. I drove the SI appropriately and saw about 28 miles per gallon. All SI interiors look like this. Really, about the only choice Honda gives SI shoppers is paint color. Special attention goes to the generously bolstered and heated seats that should take on pilots of many shapes and sizes. Big ones should check before writing the check. While not as rich looking as Volkswagen GTI, the vibe is right in here. Signal right or push this button and this camera displays the blind spot. It can be both useful and distracting. Technology available on other Civics, but not SI, is Honda Sensing, which includes automatic emergency braking and adaptive cruise control. The user interface is straightforward and fairly easy to use, especially if you connect a phone and use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, which you probably will. Thankfully, Honda has been replacing this volume control with a physical knob. Obviously, they didn't quite get to the Civic, though. It's handy to have an evil twin when assessing the back seat. Well, I'm far less evil if I'm comfortable. Uh, Civic has a lot of room. We're both five foot nine and I have plenty of knee, foot and leg room. Wish there was a pocket though. Stuff can be stashed, but electronics cannot be charged. Like most cars this size, there are belts for three, but two will be most comfortable, especially if you want to have drinks handy. Interesting that I am wearing black and evil is wearing white. Interesting social commentary. I was having too much fun driving to stop at Costco to drag out a bunch of TP. Fortunately, I did the test with the standard Civic sedan. This shows seven packs wedged in. It's only six if you don't want the hinge arms crushing cargo. Still, that's pretty roomy. 
Only your eyes can tell if the design is appealing. There are some visual cues that this is the go-fast version of the 10th generation Civic, but SI doesn't look wildly different from the standard model, which can be argued is a little overstyled. For maximum attention, the coupe can be had in an eye-searing energy green paint. For those seesawing on color, silver or graphite give this car a kind of stealth mode. Fun to drive and easy on the wallet, SI can turn any twisty road into a swinging good time. I'm going to guess someone in the comments section is going to ask which car I like the best in this segment, and I'll answer that with... It doesn't really matter so much. You are the person buying the car, so it's important to get out there and find out which one turns your crank. For example, not everyone will want a manual transmission, and there's nothing like the Volkswagen GTI's dual clutch. It's a brilliant gearbox. Maybe all-wheel drive that motivates the Subaru WRX is important. The Focus ST, like the GTI, offers up hatchback utility. Uh, it's hard to beat the price of the Honda, though. Just saying. Hope you enjoyed my look at the new Honda Civic Si. Uh, one competitor that I didn't mention is also a Honda, the Civic Sport Hatchback. For one thing, it's less money, and it's a hatchback, so it's more useful. So when you're at your Honda dealership, check that one out as well. It's loads of fun to drive, especially if you're on a budget. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.